Welcome to MathsMaster.org. We're going to have a look at the graph transformation y is equal to f of x plus or minus a of the function f of x. So the focus of this lesson is going to be applying this graph transformation. So we take a function of x and we either add or subtract a number to the end of it. So in this case I'm going to use the letter A to stand for the number that we are either going to be adding or subtracting to the function. And the real focus of the lesson is looking at what happens when we plot that on a graph and we change the value of A. So how does the graph change as we change the value of A, the value that we're either adding or subtracting to the function? So we're going to be looking at two functions of x in particular. The first function of x is just x squared, and we'll be applying that graph transformation to it, which will give us x squared plus or minus a. So we'll look at how adding or subtracting a affects the graph of that function. And then secondly, we're going to be looking at the function of x that is sine x. So as we apply that graph transformation, we'll be looking at the graph of sine x, add or subtract a. And as we vary a, we'll have a look at how that affects the graph of that function. So to get started, let's have a look at the function of x, x squared. We're going to apply the graph transformation f of x, add or subtract a. So the function that we'll be looking at will be x squared, add or subtract a. Okay, so here's the graph of y equals x squared, or y equals x squared plus zero. Let's have a look at what happens if I change the value of a, if I add a number to the uh, function y equals x squared. Let's have a look. Seems as though the graph is being translated upwards along the y-axis. Let's have a look at what happens if I subtract a number from the function. So this is x squared minus 1, x squared minus 2, and so on. The graph is being translated still along the y-axis, but in the negative direction. Okay, so hopefully this can give you a feel for what adding or subtracting a number to a function does when we plot it on a graph, what this graph transformation is all about. Okay. Let's start with our original function, so y equals x squared plus zero in this case. Notice how the bottom of the graph crosses through the origin, through the point zero, zero. Let's have a look at what happens if we add, say, five to that function. So this is the graph of y equals x squared add five. Notice how the graph now crosses through the point zero, five it's been translated along the y-axis in the positive direction but it's been translated by five units it's actually sh it's translated up five let's have a look at the graph of x squared plus ten now you'll see that it's been translated up ten units from the origin so this number a in our graph transformation actually tells us how far we have to translate the graph as well. And it works in the negative direction as well. So let's have a look at the original graph, y equals x squared. It goes through the origin. If we look at y equals x squared subtract 5, then it goes through uh, the point 0 minus 5 and it's been translated down by 5, or translated along the y-axis in the negative direction by 5. And similarly so, if we go to x squared subtract 10, then it has been translated down by 10. Let's have a look now at the function of x that is sine x. We'll apply the graph transformation f of x add or subtract a. So our function that we'll be looking at on the graph is sine x, add or subtract a. Okay, so here's our graph of y equals sine x, or y equals sine x add zero. Let's have a look at what happens if we change the value of a. 
if we add a number to the function, it is translated along the y-axis in the positive direction. It's translated up. If we subtract a number from the function, it's translated down. It's translated along the y-axis in the negative direction. OK. It works absolutely the same as before. It works for all functions of x. So if I look at sine x add 3, the graph is shifted um, or translated along the y-axis in the positive direction by 3. It's translated upwards by 3. So all the y-coordinates of y equals sine x are just translated up by 3. They're increased by 3. So just to recap what we've learned through this video, we've looked at the graph transformation y is equal to f of x add or subtract a, and we found that this translates the graph up or down. It translates the graph in the direction of the y-axis. If you add a to the function, the graph is translated up by the value a. If you subtract a from the function, then the graph is translated down by a. That was the graph transformation y is equal to f of x add or subtract a of the function f of x. If you want to see some more fantastic maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.